I just love it when SJWs and feminists read to the high heavens to fight non-existent causes against imaginary boogeymen. Hello, this is Mara Jade, and I'm back with another video. And according to this article on BoundingInTheComics.com, Diamond Lobby reimagines video game characters with female protagonists to, quote, promote diversity in gaming. Yes, you read that correctly, folks. They are still fucking beating that dead horse because if they were to ever stop, it would be admitting they were stupid to begin with, and they're not going to do that. So without further ado, let's go into this article so we can get a gauge of what this website is doing. So here it is. Diamond Lobby, a video game entertainment website, a website I've never fucking heard of until now, recently showcased a number of video game characters that they redesigned as female in order to, quote, promote diversity in gaming. The redesigns were imagined by Brittany Lynn and created by artist Hussein Kalantari. They include Captain Price from Call of Duty, Michael DeSanta from Grand Theft Auto V, Alex Hunter from FIFA 17, Master Chief from Halo, God fucking bit, ugh. Ezio Adator, Dave Ferenz from Assassin's Creed, Sergeant Marcus Michael Fenix from Gears of War, and Johnny Silverhand from Cyberpunk 2077. Oh my fucking Christ. Lynn specifically noted she came up with the redesigns to address what she sees. To address what she sees. Not what actually exists, but what she perceives as a problem between the amount of male and female characters as protagonists despite... Despite citing data that states 23% of main characters within games were male and 18% were female as of 2020. Oh, the fucking inhumanity! The 5% difference! The 5% difference! Most rational gamers, and most are rational, don't fucking care about a character's gender. They just want good characters placed into good stories built within good world building. And on top of that, good gameplay. That's it. That's all we want. Good gameplay and good stories, depending on what type of game we're playing. That's it. Good stories, good characters, good gameplay. Just fucking give us that. That's all we care about. But no, they have to beat this drum. They have to keep beating this drum because the games aren't diverse enough. And by not diverse enough, it means that there should be more female protagonists than male protagonists for some, I don't know, sexist reparations for women. They're, they're speaking for the women demographic, even though I, as a gamer, who happens to be a woman... Really just want to tell them to back the fuck off my games. Please just do that. Back the fuck off my games. Let me play my games in peace. Doesn't matter if it's a male protagonist or a female protagonist. I don't fucking care. If I like a game, I'll play it. It's as simple as that. It's fucking as simple as that. She writes, Despite the disparity between men and women in gaming decreasing, it's clear that male characters still get preferential treatment. When you look to the world's biggest games, female characters are often... One of the gang, rather than getting in the lead role, the protagonists. <laughs> Again, there are plenty of games with female leads. Plenty of beloved games, I should say, with female protagonists. Who the fuck cares in comparison to the male protagonists? Like I said, who the fuck cares? We just want good games. We just want good games. Lynn also wanted the designs to not to simply be eye candy because she believes, quote, while male characters in games can often look rough and rugged, female characters are often almost exclusively used as eye candy to please a predominantly male audience. My counter-argument to that is, while, yes, granted, it is a predominantly male audience because the gaming sphere is predominantly made up by men, you doing this shit also takes away from the bisexual and lesbian women who also want to view these characters as eye candy. I thought you were an ally. Aren't you an ally? I mean, it is June, it is Pride Month, and you're, take, you're basically taking away the voice of the bisexual and lesbian women by focusing solely on desexualizing these female characters because of the toxic masculinity. But at the same time, if masculinity is toxic, why are these female characters created in a way 
to remove whatever femininity they have and making them more masculine. Do you not see how fucking stupid this whole situation is? We wanted to show that female characters can look great without being hypersexualized. And this is demonstrated no better than with our Master Chief redesign that we dubbed Madam Chief, who looks almost identical to her male counterpart, Lynn added. Who would fucking know the difference if it looks almost identical? Who would fucking know the difference? And again, I ask, who the fuck would care? Who the fuck cares? Really? Most people don't. Most people don't fucking care about this. At all. I mean, seriously. Did you also ever stop to think that maybe gay men are also playing these games and maybe they want to have male eye candy to look at? Aren't you taking away their voices as well by focusing on just straight men? Again, it's Pride Month and I thought you fuckers were allies. Remember, you put your those little gay flags next to your names in your Twitter bios to show how much of a solidarity you have with a gay community, the LGBTQ plus community, and you're doing this shit? Again, Jesus Christ. The founder of Diamond Lobby, Luke Roberts, also stated, Whilst this content is relatively lighthearted and easy to digest, it also highlights deep-rooted issues within gaming. No, there were never any fucking deep-rooted issues, because, again, most gamers, whether male or female, are rational human beings. They just want good games. They just want companies to do better in regards to good gameplay, good storytelling, good world building, good character development. And that's all we want. What the characters look like, their skin color, gender, and sexuality, should not be at the forefront. That does not define them as good characters. It doesn't. But, you have these fuckers who make it a priority. A priority where nothing like this is ever an issue, was ever an issue. At all. I've been playing games for years. Literally years. And never once did I think to myself, there should be more female protagonists in games. Because I was raised to look beyond skin color, beyond gender, beyond sexuality, and see a character, in particular like within fiction, as a whole. Their hopes, dreams, moral compasses, actions, decisions, thoughts, what you name it. That's what makes a character. Not the superficial qualities that you assholes love focusing on. Along with the redesigns, Lynn gave each of the few new female characters their own backstory. Well, thank Christ for that, Lynn. Captain Price. That uh, that art uh, illustration actually looks horrible, in my opinion. Looks like something out of a young adult novel. Jesus Christ. Lynn describes Price. Captain Price is the main protagonist in the modern warfare line of Call of Duty games. Not much of a fucking backstory, is it, Lynn? She adds, she's a special forces sniper from Britain and held the rank of captain leading the, her SAS Bravo team squad across Russia and Azerbaijan and back again. Not, again, not much of a fucking backstory, not much to go off of. Really, if you're, if you're going to do this shit, give us something to at least, at least set her apart from her male counterpart. And you're not doing that. You're really not doing that. You're literally just gender swapping the fucking characters. Michelle DeSanta. She fucking looks like a Karen. Look at that. That is the fucking look of I want to see your manager. Next is Michelle DeSanta. Here's how Lynn describes her. Michelle is a career criminal that moved to Los Santos to retire in peace in GTA 5. She adds, sadly, she soon returned to her old ways, haunted by the demons of her past and memories of the times that she made questionable moral mistakes. Where's the difference? Alex Hunter. 
Lynn describes Hunter. Alex made her debut back in FIFA 17 and last featured in FIFA 20 with FIFA 21 dropping the Journey game mode a couple of years back. Despite this, she's still one of the most instantly recognizable faces from FIFA's single player modes, which is exceptional considering it's a fictional character in a real a world of real celebrity superstar players. Have you ever wanted to break your laptop? That's how I feel right now. This is like literally making my brain cells want to commit seppuku. Madam Chief, here it is. Again, again. The only minor difference, if I'm like looking at this picture correctly, is the, say it with me, Anita Sarkeesian, boob armor to tell that it's a female underneath there. Otherwise, who would fucking know? A mainstay in Halo's first-person shooter games, Madam Chief, is the mascot for the entire Halo brand. And even the Xbox brand, too. She's a Spartan super soldier that's entrusted with safeguarding Cortana, their ship's artificial intelligence, and wears just a slightly more petite bodysuit than her male counterpart, writes Lynn. She adds, not able to see the difference between Master Chief and Madam Chief? What do you want us to do? Stick a bikini on her? Everyone looks very similar inside full body armor. Then why the f Fuck, did you change it in the fucking first place? Why? If it doesn't matter under full body armor and you only know the character is Master Fucking Chief, then won't we fucking know if we didn't know it was a male that we could have assumed it was a female too because we don't know. Master Chief is a fucking rank that can also be held, guess what, Lynn, by women. Did you ever stop to think about that? No, you didn't. I'm answering my own question because you are so fucking stupid and have your head so far up your own fucking ass, you cannot fa fathom that. You're beating this fucking dead horse. You're fighting these imaginary boogeymen. And for fucking what? You are basically blasting your stupidity for everyone to see now. And this website. You too. Eva de Ferenz. Aren't it, okay, I've never played the Assassin's Creed games, but isn't there a female character that you can play as in these games? Or multiple female characters you can play as in these games? Like, why does it matter gender swapping this particular character? Why? Lynn describes Eva, a Florentine noblewoman during the Renaissance. Eva Auditor de Ferenz was a master assassin throughout the Assassin's Creed franchise. She liberated Rome, prevented the rise of power of the cult of Herm Hermes, and even helped ensure the future travels of Christopher Columbus, she concluded. Where's the difference? I I'm, where's the fucking difference? Other than just gender swapping these characters. Marsha Fenix. God fucking hell, this art style is horrendous. Put a fucking mask on her and she might and take away the gun. She's in Tifa. <sighs> Lynn writes, Sergeant Fenix is a legendary war heroine, earning the COG's highest military award for her actions during the Battle of Asfo Fields. She also a con she's also a convicted coward for her actions in a different battle, but we'll forget all about that one. She features as a protagonist in every edition of the Gears of War franchise. She adds. Jenny Silverhand. Who, even though the head looks so warped in that image, is still rather sexual if you think about it, because that uh, tank top is kind of skin tight. Don't be fooled by the arms that I got. I'm still Jenny from the block. Lynn says, born as Bobby Linder, Jennifer Silverhand is a military veteran and an influential rocker. She was the most prominent figure fighting against the corrupt government and corporations, but has been known for her manipulative and impulsive behavior. She's a protagonist in the cyberpunk series. She concludes, what do you make of these redesigns? I think they're fucking stupid, horrendous, and just downright god-awful. That's my opinion. But then again, I have internalized misogyny. That's what I've been told by these fuckers whenever I at all dare to have an opinion countered to their stupidity. 
But let me know what you think down in the comments below. Do you agree with this website? Do you disagree with this website? Do you think, please fucking Christ, just move on already. Let us the fucking alone. Let us alone to play our games with whatever characters are in the games. Whether they be male or female. It doesn't fucking matter. We just want good games. Let me know all that fun stuff down in the comments below. If you like this video, leave a thumbs up. Share on social media if you will. This is Mara Jade. Catch you on the dark side with my next video and or live stream that I'm either a part of or I'm doing on my own. So until then, fuck off, Diamond Lobby.